to this. Hey, this is just a quick overview of uh, the changes I'm making in the, in the merge quest to add uh, a protocol automata. So this is master. This is how things work currently. So an example of the problematic boilerplate place is the GitOps server part. And uh, more specifically, it's Ah, okay, it's here. Uh, objects to synchronize watcher. So the protocol is this RPC, uh, the request and the stream of all object uh, responses. Each response is a message where one of these three fields can be set, only one of them that's guaranteed by this uh, grouping. So either headers where we send what committed was or the object where we send one or more messages per one file per each file so if file is big uh, i think it, the constant is 128 kilobytes then we set multiple objects and then once we send you have sent all of them we send the traders this is more like for future uh, if we want to add, append any information in the object so this is the RPC definition. Then we need to ensure that on the on the client side, we need to ensure that uh, so the server has followed the protocol and uh, hasn't closed the stream prematurely before sending us all the objects. Because if it did, because of a bug or something, then we would apply this to a cluster and then we will potentially delete some valid objects because of a bug. So it's kind of a big deal to ensure that the protocol is followed correctly. So to, to address this, I wrote some <laughs> uh, hard to read code here. <laughs> so we just track if the headers have been received and trailers have been received. And uh, there's basically an automata that we encode here, like what is the next thing that is being, that is expected was constant so we are expecting headers then we are expecting objects or trailers and then after trailers we are expecting end of end of the stream and then we check this all these conditions in the right places and uh, return an error or log an error if and abort if uh, the protocol is not followed and then here's this crazy switch as well that ensures everything was okay and only then calls the callback to apply this to the cluster. So as you can see, it's a lot of boilerplate. So let's look at the branch. Um, and uh, so here in two, we now have chrpc 2 automata. This is a set of two. Uh, options. An option is, this is an option, this is a file level option, a standard option defined by proto, uh, protobuf. Uh, we can define custom options. This is what we are doing here. This is an option that is defined on, can be defined by the user by, on any field. And this is an option that can be defi defined inside of any one of. So here we encode this automata that to with uh, it's a list of what once you get this field what is what are the next fields that are allowed in, in the stream basically as part of this one of uh, group and this one is what is the first field when you start reading the stream what what are it's uh, repeated so it can be multiple first uh, fields one of them should be the first one uh, also a list. So we use this to annotate our one-off. It's the same RPC file. This is our one-off objects to synchronize response. So first one must be number one, which is headers. Then after headers, it must be number two or number three, which is objects or trailers. So if there are no objects, the server must send the trailers. And if there are some objects, it, it should send some objects multiple, potentially multiple times. 
it's a loop in the automata. And then once it's done, after the auto objects have been sent, uh, it should send the trailers. After the trailers, minus one is a special thing for end of the stream, you off. That's the annotations. And then I wrote a stream visitor. I think that analyzes this and uh, analyzes, you give it the proto message. So objects to synchronize a response and it analyzes it. It builds the representation of this automata, like what is allowed from, from this, you can go to this list and uh, stuff like that. And then, then it calls the callbacks that you provide. So, and to use it, we do, um, where is it? This is our watcher, which was, which looked crazy on master. And this is the branch. This is how it looks. Uh, so we define it here, we construct it here. We tell it that we are going to be processing a stream of objects of this type, objects to synchronize response. And uh, this is our retrieval basically. And uh, we say visit the stream. Well, we get the stream, make the RPC uh, to the server, to CAS. Then we visit the stream and uh, we want for headers, this callback, for objects, this callback, and for traders, this callback to be called. And it's this visitor thing, which is right here. And you can see for headers, this code is being executed for objects, this code, and for traders, nothing to do at the moment. Looks much nicer, doesn't it? This is what the CMR does. Uh, thank you. Uh, stop recording. <laughs>